I mean, it's the brainstorming phase. Uh, <laughs> it's elaborated later. Well, he's been speaking about. There's I've been speaking about the fact that this room is full of expertise. This room is full of expertise, and while I am an expert in certain areas, I would certainly be interested in learning about areas which I'm not an expert. I would love to go. Uh, so my point is, we put together maybe maybe our presenters for a for a com Congress coming up is more of an instructional presentation. So maybe it's a joint composition presentation, or maybe it's a way to. Um, to include composition in your classroom or a way to include improvisation in your classroom so that we're all learning while we're here also. Because that's professional development. I mean. So I bring it to a, to a short uh, formulation. Could we mention the end of the list? I would say. Sure, yeah. You rock, Joe. Okay, that's done. More ideas? I don't know if this is the appropriate forum of the time. Um, but part of the struggle for most academics has been what has been passed off for equivalent currency and collateral in publications. Um, our department has been looking at ways in which performances and uh, compositions have been regarded in it as equivalent publication value. I don't know if that will help um, you know, encourage people who are in the practice led domain to think of publications not just as written text, but as performance text or creative texts. Would it be right to say redefinition of academic achievements? Renegotiation of publication. Renegotiation of publication and publication in quotation marks. Yes, giving it giving it its its, its full value in a sense. Print and performance. Can you give uh, an example, please? Let's say if you did a composition. Let's say if you did a composition, and that was performed at the, at the national, you know, let, let's say it was commissioned by the U.S. Marines uh, for the celebration of a particular year. And then, of course, because that is performed nationally um, at, a, at, at a public event at a, at a local site, it, it awards you so many points if we want to take that. Uh, let's say you've got a commission for Carnegie Hall, something that you've written for an ensemble, say the Ensemble Contemporary of Montreal. And that international publication, you know, ties in with international referee journals, local referee journals, non-referee well, one issue that's happening with my colleagues in, in Thailand is the people that that decide promotion and tenure say performance is okay, except you have to write a paper about the performance. So instead of just, you know, instead of Joe performing a trumpet concerto with the Tokyo Symphony, that's not enough. He has to write a paper about performing with the Tokyo Symphony, which is odd. And so what, what we're, he's saying, what I'm saying, uh, is that that performance should stand by itself as significant scholarly output. And it doesn't right now. No. The key word meant was renegotiation of the notion of publication. Any more proposals? What should be included in this category of topics? I'd like to see something in terms of community engagement as an initiative. We haven't heard these all these three seem to be professional development topics. I would um, maybe think about how do we train our students to go out into the community and engage the community. So how do we train our students in pedagogy to go out to um, primary schools and get workshops? Um, so teaching students to be teachers um, in the community. How? No, OK. 
We need to model community outreach. We have to go out in the communities. We, that's not that we're not doing it, but we need to be more public about it and we need to share that we're doing it. I have no doubts that everybody in here is doing large amounts of public performances and interaction with, our, with your constituencies. We need to make sure that everybody knows that that's occurring. So that kind of goes in with the publication piece but it's absolutely, it also goes in with the advocacy piece. I, 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 I would like to say that I think it's very right that students are ready to be involved, uh, but I think it's our role as teachers to try to initiate uh, opportunities for students to, uh, to go and make themselves just for the community, uh, not only at national level, but involving all the neighboring countries. Uh, we, we took some of our um, research students uh, a few years ago, uh, myself and Alan over there to Itane and uh, created a cultural exchange, sort of sharing knowledge, but also trying to um, archive some of the music that we found and collected. So it worked on, on many levels. I think this shouldn't work on just one level, but there's a opportunities for organizing trips where all kinds of activities, very constructive activities, um, happen and, and those should be documented and again archived in a, in a, a useful manner. Is this making sense? Um, you, you have to bring it down to uh, three words. The community outreach should also be part of the curriculum. For us, we have masters in choral conducting. Instead of having two conservatory level uh, requirement for graduation for conducting, one of we, we require them to to uh, look for a community choir, a church choir, or a new choir that they train for the first for the first recital. The second one is conservatory level because we want to be sure that they know how to train voices because sometimes they only take trained choirs already and they get very high grades because they only they only show that they can interpret the repertoire but for us we require them to have a community choir that they newly form we make sure that it is a new choir that they form at the same time we reach out to the community so, which means you are already a mother yeah. Modeling community outreach, that would be already a model. Okay. What if it said modeling and initiating community outreach? That's five words, but one of them is an art. <laughs> as long as it is one line, it is okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, I mean, the page is full, and this is only the beginning of the collection. And you, uh, you are going to work on each of the six categories tomorrow. And now, um, uh, the half of our coffee break, and we, we meet here again at 4 o'clock. Enjoy the coffee and the tea.